And right away, they were doing what they were doing here today. They were all happy and clapping and singing songs to Jesus. And I never felt so awkward in my life. I just wanted the ground to open and, 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 and sink in it. I, was just, I felt embarrassed. So I said to my wife, when all these happy, clappy people finish doing the, uh, the worship to God, I'll come back in and I'll listen to the preacher because in my heart I knew that there's a, there's a God. I knew that they were real, but I just felt awkward, you know, with, with these people. So what happened was, I heard the music subside and I walked into this church and everyone looked round because, you know, there's not many people walking to churches nowadays, but we sat at the back and for the next 40 minutes, the pastor preached. And it was as if he was preaching to me and me alone. And every single thing that he said applied to my life. And this was in May 2008. I walked outside of the church and my wife Wendy said to me, what did you think? And I just said, Wendy, I don't know what it is. I, I'm not that happy with the happy crappy stuff and the singing and all that. But the, the word, the, the preacher's word, Thank resonated in my heart. And she said, do you want to go again tonight? I said, do you know what? Why not? Let's give it a go. I gave up predictions on that day, including a 25 cigarette a day addiction Hallelujah. that day. And I've never, ever touched anything since then. So when people say, is God a God of miracles? I can stand here and tell you that God is a God of miracles. And here's the irony, and I'm going to finish with this. The very thing, the, are you listening? The very thing that kept me away from God was, was the music, was the, was the, was the,